everybody. Welcome to Table Talk, a place for honest conversations and getting to meet friends. I'm Betsy here with one of my favorite people, Pastor Lazaro. Oh, thank you, Hanging Betsy. out. We were talking just a second ago. I was like, you're an old pro. You've been hanging. He was like, this is his third time on Table mm-hmm. Talk. Third time. I think you're the only person <laughs> so far mm. that's been through it. So I'm so glad yeah. that you're here. I love getting to hang out with you. Mm-hmm. I've had the blessing of getting to do ministry with you and your sweet wife. And um, you're such a blessing to Sagemont. You're one of those hidden gems here at Sagemont because you do so much and you're making a huge impact in our church and in our community. And a lot of people are like, I I don't know him. I haven't gotten to know him yet. You are over our Spanish ministry Mm -hmm. here at Sagemont. Still meets down in the HRA and in those classrooms and in that area. Um, Sunday mornings, Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every like week. Every week. Every week. There you go. Every Serving week. Serving the Hispanic community in yes. the, the city. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And if you missed Lazaro being here on one of the f- other table talks, go back. You can go down YouTube. Go back and listen to some of those because we really talk about the number of different cultures mm-hmm. that are inside of our Spanish ministry. What y'all are doing, the outreach they have, all of that. Yeah. We've talked about all of that, and I would love to talk about it again because it's so cool that God's given us here at church a way to really be his hands and feet Mm -hmm. through um, a different culture, many different cultures. cultures. And so it's really fun. So you can go back and watch that. But today, this was the reason I asked Lazaro to come. So probably, I don't know, a month and a half, two Mm -hmm. months ago, I'm on Facebook just kind of looking at things and I see this pop thing pop up that Lazaro has a book out. Yeah. And I was like, who told us? Nobody. (laughs) Nobody. (laughs) He didn't tell us. And so really, so I'm doing, we're on Table Talk right now. We're doing this series of authors inside of Mm. Sagemont Church. And so it's been really fun to get, if you haven't seen some of those, they're coming out. We have a few more people we're going to talk to. But you really sparked that idea because I was like, he wrote a whole book and we don't know about it. Yeah. And I was well, like, now you know. Now we know. That's <laughs> right. As soon know. as I knew, I, would t- I emailed him. I said, what did you do? You mm-hmm. wrote a book? Oh, we're talking about that. So yeah, awesome. I love that you did that. Mm-hmm. Um, and y'all, one of the really cool things is it came out originally in Spanish. In Spanish, yeah, yeah. But now, just like this week, last week, mm-hmm. it got... There's the translated version in yeah. English, so anybody can get it. It's on Amazon. You can go grab it, mm-hmm. either one. And so um, tell me a little bit about why did you decide to write a book? Have you ever written a, any kind of a book before? You write sermons yes. weekly. Yeah, I, 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 I love to write my sermon okay. every week. I, I write the whole things. So I used to write uh, even sometime for fun or whatever, but I never been so serious about, mm-hmm. uh, you know, writing a book. Yeah. So that's was in my mind during several, probably several years mm-hmm. so but finally I found uh, one of my friend pastor friend in, in a meeting on, in Florida this past uh, May or or June I can remember very well and he has a, a Polish house so okay. he invited me he said hey you can do it so if you have uh, some resources you can put in together and I, I will help you in the way so I returned to Houston as a home here at Sageman and I say, yeah, I need to do it. So, and I, and I'm putting all this in, in this uh, little book, uh, for helping uh, primarily the uh, the Hispanic community. Okay. So, but it's a book that can serve the, uh, the whole Christian community in mm-hmm. America and and all around the world is, yeah. uh, is, uh, is a, so he book. just talked to you about this in like yeah. May. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. And it, that was quick. Yeah. The issue was that um, that was uh, the majority of this um, of this book came from a series, sermon series mm-hmm. that I that I preach here in, in Sesmo Church uh, about uh, some contrast that we can find in the first letter of John. Uh, in the Bible, so I put in all this sermon together. I I prepared the sermon. I changed many things mm-hmm. to fit in the book. Yeah. So that was the main idea. That's good. Yeah. So you didn't have to come up with something. You're like, no, I have no. this. I've done the research. Yes, I've yes. 
talked through it. I've preached it. Yeah, I did it during the, the summer of, of 2023. Okay. So I, I did all this series, and I, I just need to come back and... Uh, figure out how to put it in the book. Yeah. And that was. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so what's the book about? Yes. So in English, it says the value, <coughs> excuse me, the value of being different, and it's called contrasts. Contrasts. Okay, yeah. so tell me a little bit about mm. what this is. Yeah, it's all about uh, a, a survey of spiritual realities. Okay. So we are going to, I'm comparing, uh, comparing uh, spiritual realities that we can find in John, uh, the first letter of John. So right there, um, the idea is to challenge our, our communities. Christian community to live, like I say in the book, uh, living different for Christ. Mm. So you can find there, uh, uh, all around the book, you can find ideas like uh, light versus darkness okay. or obedience versus disobedience. So I'm doing the whole, uh, about seven contrasts. Okay. Uh, during the whole book about um, this kind of spiritual realities yeah. that we face today so and we need to choose where we can live mm. so if we can if we are going to live in, in the darkness or in the life of jesus so i put in in the table all this reality and you need to choose what is going to uh how you're gonna live yeah how can to live for you so that's really cool i love that it's those contrast of mm. light and dark and yeah. all that and uh, through the whole uh, letter, you can find more contrast. Uh, it's, a, it's a book. Uh, uh, the first John is a beautiful, beautiful letter for today. Mm -hmm. For me, it's pretty relevant. One of our values here at Seismon Church is to be relevant. Mm -hmm. So I think the letter is still relevant for us because in the first century, uh, John is answering uh, a situation that uh, false teachers were everywhere, especially the Noxtis. Uh, they say, they tend to say that there is a special uh, hidden knowledge mm. uh, that just a few people can reach okay. this kind of uh, uh, idea. So John is answering them, the special knowledge is Christ. Yeah. So we have everything in Christ. We are fooling him. We don't need anything apart mm -hmm. from Christ. So yeah. this book is about um, the glory of Christ. That's awesome. Yeah. What, when you now get to like hold it and mm -hmm. see it and know it's here. Yes. What is your prayer for this book, for people that read this yeah. book? Well, my prayer is that people, uh, as the subtitle says, uh, they, they receive a challenge mm -hmm. to live different for Christ, mm -hmm. but not because the church is saying this or because the pastor are praying about this, but because they got a conviction. Yeah. You know, you need this kind of conviction if you want to live uh, in this uh, century with so many challenges that we are facing mm -hmm. today. Uh, we are living in the media times. I, I say in the books uh, that those media time, uh, times, they are spreading alternative, you know, different ways to live. Right. So we need to be um, in a firm foundation. Yeah. So that's my prayer that people can understand this and grasp this for themselves and live this kind of life. Yeah. So. I love that thought of mm -hmm. it's not just living differently on Sunday morning or when you're at church or when you're with your Christian friends, mm -hmm. but it's that it's for because of who Jesus Christ is in you, yeah. that you are always living differently than the world, yeah. even in hard situations. Even in hard situations. I'm not saying that you can go down and up in your life. That's, oh, that's fine. Absolutely. That, that's happened. That's life. Life yeah. happens. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that you need to live with this kind of conviction all the time. Uh, for example, the first chapter I'm talking, and I think this is the, the main chapter, the number one, because I'm talking about the assurance mm -hmm. of salvation. Mm -hmm. For example, there John says... Uh, in chapter 1, uh, verse 3 and 4, he says, And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. These things we write to, uh, that your, our joy, excuse me, our joy may 
be made. So the goal of John is that we can have this joy mm -hmm. of salvation. And basically, it's so sad for me that I have several friends, I have even family, they are believers, and they sometimes struggle with the joy of salvation. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes they, for different position, they believe that they can, you know, live in uh, without assurance mm -hmm. of salvation. Mm -hmm. And from my point, and something that I say in the book, I don't know your position, what is your uh, knowledge in, in the Bible, but something is clear. You can be uh, safe in Jesus yeah. by His grace, not by my own uh, work, right. you know what I mean? And this is something that I trying to push hard in this book during the whole, yeah. um, um, every chapter. I love that because um, it's, one, it's one of those things that when we start looking at living in the light or living in the dark or the mm. different things that we have to choose from, if you don't have the assurance of salvation, mm -hmm. the other part's going to be hard because you're trying to do it on your own Yeah. instead of the salvation. And then Jesus is going to mm. be your strength and be your courage to make those hard decisions. Yes. And so having to get that nailed down mm -hmm. first and fo foremost yeah. is so important. It's so important. Many, I noticed that many of the Hispanic community that came to Sagemont after moving here, uh, they came from different backgrounds mm -hmm. where they struggle trying to go hard every day to find the, the, the love of God, mm -hmm. of the approval of God. And I'm dealing with this kind of discipleship here at church. Hey, God loves you even when you were like a, a sinner. Yeah. So he, he gave uh, his son for you. So our salvation depends on him. And let me tell you this, a few years ago, when I arrived in the United States, uh, my wife and I, we were in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So we went to school to learn the language. I'm still <laughs> learning. You do so <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm still working on this, but I went to school and the majority of the school, uh, the, 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 the students, they were from uh, Saudi Arabia. They were Muslim. Mm. And I came uh, with a good relationship with one of them. And when we finished, uh, they were in, um, ready to return to Saudi Arabia. Mm. He came to me and he said, hey, Lazaro, thank you for your, your help during this month here in the States. Uh, pray for me because I, I hope someday when I arrive in heaven, uh, Allah, or the merciful, receive me over there. I'm not sure about this. Wow. So I saw this young man praying every day, three or four times, right. you know, living a life, you know, for, for his God, but still he don't have any kind of certainty. Yeah. So he wasn't assured. And I told him, you know what? I'm assured of my salvation. He said, really? Why? I said, because Jesus died for me. So Mm. I don't see the way that a Christian live, uh, you know, afraid yeah. of the future yeah. because we, we have Jesus with us. Why do you think, mm -hmm. um, and, and you and I both have seen this, people that have known about Jesus have come to church for their whole life or have at least been around mm -hmm. it, still struggle with assurance of salvation. Yeah. Why do you think we have people have such a hard time with that mm -hmm. of really grasping that? Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. I came from a background. I was a Baptist my whole life, but uh, um, my background is uh, was a free will Baptist. So I have um, all my family, my friends, my professors, um, they are free will Baptists. And in this uh, denomination, they, they have people that they have this mentality, Armenian Wesleyan, or they are Armenian uh, more tending to Calvinists. So we have a big spectrum on this. So, but many of the Armenian uh, with tendency to Wesleyan, they they have this tendency to to reach out uh, um, holiness. Uh, but that's that's good. We need holiness in the book. I I speak about the relationship of grace and 
responsibility, human mm -hmm. responsibility. Yes. But I think when we tend to watch or to see a lot about the human responsibility, we are losing the focus. Hmm. We are losing the focus. I was teaching yesterday to the men's, yes. our men's here, um, Hispanic men, and the class was about the uh, uh, focus on the heaven to reach out the, the earth. Mm -hmm. So if you focus on the earth, you are going to lose both yeah. heaven and earth. Mm. So I think we need to focus more on Jesus and what he did for us on the cross mm -hmm. and less on my performance, mm. on my everyday performance. Because as human beings, we are, we are uh, weak mm -hmm. and we are going to lose focus sometimes. So. Right. Yeah, if we think our assurance has anything to do with us. Yes, that's the point that's that hard. I want that my friends, yeah. my family, and, you know, the whole community um, can get the idea that we need to go to Jesus. And he's the only one that is going to give you the peace of mm -hmm. being uh, safe with God. Yeah, so. I love that. Yeah. That's so good. I think it's so... Um, I think this is an important topic. Yes, it's an important topic. Yeah. Um, I try to do it with love, you know, uh, for both people. I don't know if you are in one side or another. Uh, and I think that even if you are in an Armenian side or whatever side you are living, you can have this kind of assurance mm -hmm. uh, of salvation. That is no problem. It's uh, all about, around the, the scripture. So I yeah. think it's good. I love it. Yeah, but the boost is not just about Assurance, it's, right? Yeah, it's, they have another contrast like living in light and darkness, uh, obedience and rebelliousness. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an issue today with obedience. I think at sure. church, and I mean, if you trust, just okay, I save by grace. But you are missing one point. I can do whatever I want. I'm saved by grace. Yes, yeah, that's I'm saved not, by grace. Yeah. That's the other uh, side of right. that we have been before. Mm -hmm. So it is to have the right understanding of what is faith and salvation so because that i think this book is important yeah yeah it's gonna be so and y'all the thing is it's not super long no. it is a it's a quick read um you do a such a good job um but i was gonna read these to y'all just because we've talked about a few of them but certainty versus uncertainty we mm -hmm. talked about that light versus darkness obedience versus rebel rebelliousness loving god versus loving the world we yeah. talked about that mm -hmm. um followers versus enemies of christ yes that's interesting Interesting. And then love versus rejecting one's neighbor. Yes, that's a good one. You, man, he had some hard ones. Okay. And then uh, faith versus incredi in incredulity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love the um, love versus rejecting one's neighbor. Yes, that's a good chapter. That's a good chapter. Because uh, we, we like to love the people that are lovable. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's loving the people that aren't yeah. is difficult. Yeah. Even for us, is a uh, uh, Hispanic community. They, this is a relevant uh, chapter because, you know, we, we came from different backgrounds. Yes. It is so hard. I told the church, the, the ministry all the time. So we need to love each other because we live in a, in a time that every culture has a flag. Yeah. So a different flag and a different. So, but in, in Christ, we are only one flag, mm. which is Jesus. Yeah. So in, in Sejman and Quintro, there is one flag. That is the flag of Jesus. So there is no Argentine people. Well, we have Argentine, Colombian, uh, Peru, uh, Cuba, Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. Mexico. So, but we are trying to live only uh, under Jesus. Right. So, Not let those earthly differences yeah. take you away from being one in Christ with each yeah. other. And the idea is that we are different. Yes. We are different. We have different culture and we celebrate. We're going to celebrate soon the Hispanidad uh, where we bring food together. We put in different colors. We sing song from our countries. Right. However, for me, this is the main issue trying to find unity among diversity. Yes. If we if we are able to raise the flag of Jesus in the middle of all this diversity, man, we got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's we got so it. So good. Yeah, it, it is easy when all are the same people. We are friends. I'm I having a wonderful time with friends. When I can sit on the table drinking a coffee with friends, yeah. oh that's beautiful. Right. 
but we are we have a call to go to people that they are different than yeah, us. So, absolutely. I love that so I'm much. I'm reaching with the Christ yeah. message. I'm so. super excited that you got the opportunity and you know, and I, you and I were talking the other day. Yeah. Um, since you've done this one, mm -hmm. you're like maybe I'll do another one. Yeah. Maybe you like you're like I kind of have some other ideas, which is super fun. Yes, I'm working on other ideas. Um, I was um, in an interview uh, with uh, Arlene Sanabria, which is uh, one of the reporter for the Texas Magazine. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, probably in a few weeks uh, we're going to have an article about Sechmon Encuentro, cool. about my life in, mm -hmm. the, in the, the magazine. And she was listening to the story of my dad, myself. I, uh, my dad left the home when I was a little boy. Mm -hmm. So she said, hey, Lazar, you have a beautiful book there, please. That is a lot of people that they are in need of Absolutely. relationship with their parents. So you can write about this. I say, well, probably I'm going to say it's so good. I, about, your story is yeah. fantastic. Again, you can go back other table talks no. and watch it, but it is an amazing story. Yeah, um, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You have throughout your whole life chosen to follow the Lord. Yes. In yes, some yeah. of the very difficult circumstances, yes, you sure. have you have done that. So yeah, for sure. I love that. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, and my praise that this little book, by the way, um, some of my friends that read it before say that you can read it in about two hours. Yeah. It's, it's an easy read. Uh, and that, that was my goal. I don't want to do a big book that mm -hmm. you are having tr uh, difficult to read it. This is a book for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, I put trying to put in a simple word. Um, so I hope uh, this book is going to change your mind and yeah. Anyway, if you are listening or watching the, the yeah. podcast. So. Absolutely. I love it. Y'all, you can find both books on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's a Kindle version now. Yes. Too, it's available really now. Fun. Yeah, it's a Kindle version. Yes. Uh, it's in paper. Yeah. So you can grab it. Yeah. Listen, I know one thing that would really bless Lazarus. If you grab it, if you read it, let him know. Mm. Like, or put a comment or do whatever. Put a, um, what is it when you like, a, you tell him it's great. I can't think yeah, of like a um, review or something. There you go, review. That's the word I yeah, couldn't find. Yeah, even in Amazon, you can yes. put in a, from three star to five. Right. <laughs> I Just accept. five. I um, accept, but from, from three, that's, that's right. <laughs> um, but y'all, really let him know because um, when you when you spend time on something like this mm -hmm. it's you just want to hear that it's made an impact for yeah. the kingdom and so yeah. let lazaro know when you grab it mm. and also if you have not gotten to just hang out with lazaro and his sweet wife ari y'all invite them to dinner go huh. they are wonderful people to get to know and i know they would love to get to know yeah more people too so um highly encourage you to find lazaro because a lot of times, mm. on a Sunday morning, we're not just going to bump into you. Yeah. Words. I'm preaching every every Sunday, yeah. so I'm teaching, too. Yes. So I, You're a busy guy. Busy involved in the Hispanic <laughs> ministry. I would like to come more frequently yeah. to the English uh, service, so I will try in the future. Listen, yeah. y'all, it's really cool, and people, a lot of people don't know this. What is happening in worship service um in the main auditorium on Sunday morning, what Levi's doing with meeting people after church and all that. Lazaro's doing all of that same yeah. stuff. They have a connection center. They have a welcome center. They do all those um, same things, yeah, which same is things, so uh, cool. Yeah, we we got um, probably one, two, three families every yeah. every uh, Sunday. So it's not the same like in English, but we are gathering 250, 280 person yeah. every every Sunday in the HRA, so. Yeah, it's so yeah. cool. And I say this too, if you haven't been down there, if you've never been to one of the Spanish services, go visit. Mm -hmm. It's so good, it's so encouraging. Just find a buddy that'll sit by you and whisper translation in your ear. And the deal is when you sing the songs, you'll know the songs. Yes, it's the same Cause song. Because you know the music, you know what they are. And so um, highly encourage you to go down and visit. Spanish ministry and also hang out with Lazaro. So it's, a, and here's the other deal know about the ministries at Sagemont so that when you run into people that can benefit from them, you can encourage them mm. to take advantage of that. So um, thanks for hanging out with me yeah. today. Let, let me say uh, yes, please. a last, a last yes, thing please. about the book. So this book is all about Jesus. Mm -hmm. So the, he's the only one that is able to fulfill 
our salvation uh, is more about him, less about us. <laughs> um, the point is that redemption is by grace. So I would lie that you can live with this kind of assurance mm -hmm. in your life. That's the whole point of it. I book. love it. So, so good. Y'all go grab this new book. Give it a read this weekend. You can nowadays yeah. with Amazon order yeah. it today. You get it tomorrow. <laughs> um, so you can grab it and read it this weekend. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate Thank you. Thank all that you, you do Thanks for the kingdom. You. It's so good. Y'all. Have a great rest of your day, evening, whenever you are listening to us. Thanks for hanging out. We will see you next time on Table Talk. Thanks.